If you think platypuses can't get any weirder, and flying squirrels can't be any cooler, think again. I'm Allie Kohler, and I'm a PhD student in ecology working with Dr. Boone. My undergrad research involved the discovery of ultraviolet fluorescence in flying squirrels and platypuses, some of the first documentation in mammals. Join me during my talk to hear about the research that hundreds of news outlets are talking about and to learn why these critters glow. Hello everyone, thanks for joining me to learn about my research on bright pink and green, glow-in-the-dark, flying squirrels and platypuses. I'm Allie Kohler and I'm a PhD student in ecology working with Dr. Boone. I'll be talking through the different sections of my poster, so feel free to follow along with the poster open in a different tab Pausing this video is needed. Fluorescence is when something absorbs a short ultraviolet wavelength and reflects it as a longer visible one. A black light acts as a translator and allows us to see fluorescence that would otherwise be invisible to us, though other species can see it naturally. Biofluorescence is common in the natural world and can be used to various functions like attracting a mate or camouflage from predators. This project began when one of my professors at Northland College in the department of shot a black light on everything was taking a late night stroll in his backyard looking at fluorescent plants. Perhaps the stars aligned that night because a flying squirrel glided right through the beam of his black light and he came to school the next day saying there's hot pink glow in the dark flying squirrel in my backyard. To investigate, we headed to a museum and examined over a hundred flying squirrel specimens shining a black light on their backs and undersides. And sure enough, they were vibrant pink. We couldn't find an explanation for the fluorescence itself. Males weren't more vibrant than females. Older specimens weren't more pink than newer ones. It just appeared to be random. Though in general, they were more vibrant on their undersides, and some showed distinct patterns like highlighted mammaries. During this investigation, we noticed that the platypus specimens were giving off a funky alien-like green glow that we had to document as well. These are the first documentations of fluorescence in placental and egg-laying mammals, and a previous study from fluorescence in opossums, which are marsupials. These species collectively represent the three major mammalian lineages, perhaps suggesting that this trait has been passed down through evolution. But why are they glowing? Well, we don't know, but we can speculate. Once we saw the museum specimens fluoresce, we could conclude that this was not the result of a handful of backyard squirrels being covered in fluorescent spray paint. We speculate that these animals are using this trait for some purpose. For the squirrels, we hypothesize that it could be used to navigate their low-light or snow-covered environments, or that it may be used to communicate with members of their own species or another species. Because platypuses may not be able to see very well, and we know that they rely on other senses like touch and sound, we speculate that their fluorescence may be seen by other species, like their predators, and maybe it helps the platypuses avoid becoming dinner. This project shows how much is hiding right in front of us maybe in our own backyard. Implications of this research are to aid in conservation, education, knowledge, and even perhaps to advance areas of biomedicine. There's so much still out there waiting to be discovered. And sometimes all it takes is looking at things in a slightly different light. Thank you. I'd like to give a special thanks to Northland College, Texas A&M, CSU, and my current advisor, Dr. Boone. I'd also like to thank all of you for watching. Feel free to email me if you have any further questions.